On almost every building site you'll be working with concrete. It is a terrific material for building, but it can be very toxic for the environment. So here are some guidelines for how to work with concrete. Firstly, never put concrete or wash concrete down stormwater drains. Concrete and cement are extremely toxic because they have a high lime content with a pH of 12 out of 14. This can easily kill fish, eels and other wildlife. Just this much concrete, about one litre, takes five truckloads of water to dilute. 100,000 litres of water to dilute one litre of concrete. So what you want to do is keep excess water, like rain or wash down water, away from the concrete, because it will go down the stormwater drain and cause pollution. It's very important to never schedule your concrete pour for a rainy day. Pick a day like this, it's better for the job, and for the environment. If you're going to do a concrete pour after it's been raining, make sure you remove water from pile holes, footings and foundations before pumping concrete. That way, concrete laden water won't spill over and go down the drains, because that can have a really bad result. Ensure delivery and pumping is kept on site, on an unsealed surface and away from the stormwater drains and trees. If pumping occurs on the street, make sure they use large bins or mats under the pump hose to collect spills. Divert or contain any excess slurry or wastewater onto an unsealed surface. Wash all equipment on site on unsealed ground, away from stormwater drains. Remember, you cannot filter out the pH from concrete wastewater. So when disposing of it, use unsealed ground like gravel or grass, or have it collected by a waste contractor. Use a wet vac to suck up wastewater. Buy or hire a wet vac. It's only a few hundred dollars to buy. It's cheaper than a fine and you can use it on job after job. Or you can use a sucker truck to remove wastewater. If something does go wrong, call council immediately. They are there to help and they can help limit any damage. Remember, you're responsible for your subbies, so you need to check that they are following these guidelines. I hate to say it, but you'll be held responsible if something goes wrong, and that can hurt your pocket. But if you follow the guidelines, you'll save money on cleanups and fines, you'll have a clean site, and you'll keep our streams and sea clean as well.